morning. It's, wow, that was very high. It's Monday, March 11th, and I'm just getting ready to go to the gym. It's like my favorite place right now. This week has been tough, let me tell you that that this week i am taking it a little bit slower obviously applying for the job i almost did it in my resume it took me longer than i planned and then i'm just going to focus on like other things self-care me and yeah just making myself better this week so that i can just keep going forward i'm not giving up i keep saying that to myself i'm strong i'm powerful i can do it in two years this will not matter i will be working in two years in the space that i enjoy and that i like i'll be studying accounting at that point already i'll be good you'll be good it's all good time flew so fast last week which honestly i was not against that but the weekend flew by also so fast especially yesterday daylight savings time that's like against human beings like i don't know that was not great we also watched the oscars which was kind of bittersweet because i was talking about it with my husband like i used to be such an artsy soul and i truly love art fashion cinematography like those things were so important to me and for some reason i just lost my spark for that and i don't know why I, I don't know at what point it happened but i really want to regain that back like even editing the vlogs and playing with editing is so much fun like it reminds me of why i love cinematography and why i also wanted to create like my short movies and give life to my ideas in the first place so yes at this point i will not be an oscar winning filmmaker but i might as well create my you know visions and make them true in this life so that was bittersweet sweet because it really reminded me of my parts that like something happened to them i don't know i didn't put them aside i don't know what happened to those creative parts of me like past is in the past but i do miss myself my true self and i'm coming to her like i am coming to my true authentic self i know that i know that that's like my biggest goal this year to be my true authentic self and i just feel way more hopeful and more positive than last week so gym time first and then we're going to do a bunch of things per usual just showing you what i got that was 40 dollars salad stuff feta for salad blueberries spinach for smoothie and salad then black beans also for salad tomatoes for salad this is for me to try now i never ate it so i'm excited i don't think it will be great but i just need something fast to eat avocados olives and then two apples to eat with peanut butter and then bananas i feel like they will go very fast because i'm making more smoothies and i want to make oatmeal and peanut butter sandwiches for breakfast and then those little greens micro rainbow mix for the salad i love them i think they're a very good addition for a salad and just to make your salad fancy year but yeah not a lot but i feel like it will be more than enough for the rest of the week okay that's a burrito from trader joe so we'll see how good that is i think pringle is intrigued so he's very intrigued but he's not getting anything of it What are you doing, Pep? Just enjoying the sunlight? You gotta love people for doing that. Luckily, I got an old napkin. So we're going to pick it up and throw it away. 
because this is not so hard. The trash can is literally right there, so. Maybe I should come here once and start picking up trash because it's so much trash in here and it's a picnic area, so it's really crazy. It really makes me a little bit angry because we are in charge of like our decisions and our actions and so when people consciously throw away trash like that this is really upsetting because we should care about mother earth and nature you're already here in the park enjoying it enjoying the fruits of this planet's labor so to say it's not so hard to pick up the trash and throw it away because the trash can is literally there it took me less than 10 steps to do that and there's so much trash and as i said this is a picnic area there are a few benches picnic tables a grill i feel so sad for for earth honestly also you know how i said that when you have bad days you still have to or need to push through I also want to say I think sometimes you need to stop and just take a breath and look around and be more present and just be, I don't know, more, more in the present moment because I just drove through the lake and I broke the sun, sun visor I think it's called or like the thing that holds it. I got so upset because it's the second thing I broke in the car in like the last two weeks. I mean, it sucks. It's really not nice. And I feel so bad. And I was like, okay, I, I just need to breathe in, breathe out. I'm already at the lake. Ground myself, stay present, and then go back. There are birds playing here. So close. I love birds. Also, I come more and more to the conclusion that there is probably no meaning in this life. People say, oh, it's like love and which is basically love and to be loved. I don't know, I feel like we all give our own meaning to the life. Some people don't follow their God or don't they align with themselves, so they follow the false path. Some people are on the wrong path. Um, to create more chaos and pain and terror and all that stuff but I feel like we give our own meaning to life and eventually maybe at the core of it all if you're aligned with yourself and you truly follow your path it is love because if the meaning of your life is to create art or to restore nature, it all comes from love. Oh my god, there are so many birds, you guys. Oh my god. But, um, yeah. I don't think, in general, for everybody as a humanity, there is a meaning in life. It's not as easy it's not on the surface it's it's somewhere inside you that you have to look and go deeper and more and more i do self-reflection and learn about myself i just realize that a lot of the answers i can find inside of me a lot of healing i can find inside of me and i don't need to go and look for external references or sources to confirm certain things for me or to give me answers because those answers are inside of me in my heart in my soul and it's just such an interesting discovery honestly and also the more work i do on myself i just realized that I am my biggest inspiration, other people may inspire me to do something but I am my biggest motivator and inspiration because when I do certain things, when I put myself out of the comfort zone, I'm just so proud of myself and I'm like wow, I never knew I could do that 
and it's simply because I know my shortcomings, know where I failed, I know my fears, I know my path, I know my journey, and I know where I'm coming from. Sometimes we look at other people and we may say, wow, you're so inspiring, but we don't know where they're coming from, you know? And we don't know the fear, so it's it may be inspiring, but there is no need to compare. So, yeah, I am definitely my biggest inspiration as of now. It may change, I don't know. We have those violets blooming in our garden and I'm just afraid that the lawn people will just come and cut all of them. So what I'm going to do, because they're edible, I'm going to collect some and freeze them in ice cubes. And then in the summer, I'm just going to put them in my drinks. Dandelions are also blooming. I love dandelions. They bring me joy. Honestly, justice for dandelions and anyone who calls them weeds. They just don't know how amazing and edible dandelions are. They're just so pretty. And also, justice for pigeons. Pigeons are amazing. They're not red to the sky or anything like that. Pigeons are amazing. Okay, that's a little harvest, some violets for the ice cubes and dandelions for the tea. Yes, baby, yes. So I'm going to wash it and then I will be going outside to plant some potatoes I have. And it's been like way overdue to plant it. Baby, you cannot eat it. I'm sorry. No, no. Okay, as you can see, those potatoes are so freaking old and I just kept them because I really wanted to plant them. A lot of them grew except like one, so it's good. I'm just going to plant them and hope that they will actually grow and produce more potatoes. That's like my dream to grow potatoes, lettuce, probably carrots, but mainly potatoes and lettuce. Tomatoes and cucumbers would be fun, so onions, garlics, and different herbs. So I'm just like experimenting. I do not have a green thumb, so this is devastating and upsetting to me, but I'm trying. I will not give up. Okay, I cut them. Those will go into the compost, and those are left to try to use in my dark circles under my eyes. I don't know, I've seen it on TikTok, so we'll see. I probably shouldn't be using them because of like old potatoes, but if there is starch, they should work, so... Peppy, what are you doing? Are you hiding? Pep. We have lizards living in that nest. Last year there were birds with eggs. But this year, I guess lizards decided to live there. I think one of them is pregnant. It's like three or four lizards. They're like alarmed by me because I just had to use the water hose and yeah, they didn't like it. And I was, I felt bad, but I needed to water the potatoes, so, but I'm not going to do it anymore. I'm just going to, I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> we probably need to move the hose to the little table over there, but we'll see. 
I planted potatoes here so hopefully they will grow it's a big area or a decent area so I feel like it should be enough space for them I just really hope the squirrels will not mess with it but um, I don't know how realistic it is because it looks like they already did I don't think that's from me I think it's from a squirrel it's literally been like five or ten minutes since I planted the potatoes okay I already have one batch in the freezer but this is how it looks like not exactly how I imagined it I don't know why I was thinking that the flowers would drown in water but it still looks pretty I'm, I'm really excited for the final product I can't believe that we let people who are afraid to put themselves out there make us feel embarrassed that we do. The whole idea of it's not cool until it is really reigns true because the same people that will make you feel embarrassed for putting yourself out there will praise you for getting out the mud when you find success. You don't even have to leave your house to basically pass your music on to potential for supporters. And somehow we still have people that make you feel some type of way because you decide to put yourself out there. These are often the same people that make you feel like that because they can't do it. So it just makes them feel better about it if they make you feel embarrassed for doing it. I guess the next time you decide not to share your art, post something, or just share anything, you know, think about how the same people who condemned you as being embarrassing and desperate will probably call it perseverance and tenacity in the future.